In this episode, we'll be talking all about layouts. First of all, what is a layout? A layout is a view file which defines what surrounds a template. And you can share them across many different actions and controllers. For example, here we have a template which lists all of the projects. And here's how it looks inside of the browser. Now there's not much to this right now. If you look at the source, you can see that that's all there is to it. Now what if we want to, let's say, add a header with a logo and some menu navigation to this site, kind of add it globally so every single controller in action has this. Well that's a layout. Let me create a layout to show you exactly what I mean. If you look over here, we have our Applications folder, and in this we have the Views folder. And here, right now, the index template is inside the Projects folder because that's the uh, Projects controller. But there's also this Layouts folder, and right now it's empty. To start off, 99% of the time you'll probably just need to create a layout and call it Application dot rhtml. This will be a global layout and it will be used by all controllers and all actions. So let's add some text here. Let's call it application layout and and then we have to define how our template will be submitted into this layout because we can add text before and after the template. To do that we just call yield inside this Ruby ERB tag. Before this was called content for layout, but now it's yield. That's the new way to do it. And if we go back to our projects controller, we load this, you can see that our application layout has been added. Now this would be added for any single action or controller we go to for the entire application. It's global. Most of the time, that's all you'll need to do. You'll just need to add an application layout. But what if you need a little bit more control? Another, uh, another layout file you can add is a controller-specific layout. You just give it the same name as a controller you want. Let's call it projects controller because we have a, I mean, projects.rhtml file because we also have a projects controller. What this means is this layout file will be used for just the projects controller because it has that same name. So first of all, when a layout is chosen, it first looks for the layout with the same name as the controller, and if it can't find that, it goes for the application layout. Now, another way to add a layout is let's say you want to share a given layout across many controllers, not just one controller. Let's call it an admin layout. Well, Rails allows you to use this layout command here and give a name for the layout you want to use for this specific controller. So you could specify layout admin as a string for any controller that you want to use a layout for. So let's add an admin layout here. And add an admin layout here, and now our admin layout is used in the project's controller because that is what we specified. Another way to specify which, which layout to use is dynamically. So let's say you only want to use the admin layout when a u user is logged in as an admin. Otherwise, you want to use the application layout. Well, to do dynamic layouts like this, you need to specify layout and then give it a symbol. Let's call it user layout. And then you need to create a method. Let's call let's make it protected so that it's not visible publicly. And create a method with that same name, user layout. And now we can specify the name of a layout, so we could just call it admin here. But we can add conditions here. So let's do if current user admin, then use the admin layout. Otherwise, use 
the application layout. So now, since I don't have this method defined, I'm just going to place true in here just to give it the example. So true is the admin layout, false is the application layout. So you can use this method to dynamically set which layout to be used based on any kind of method or variables. If What if you need a layout to be used on only one action? Well, what you can do is, let's say in this index action, we want a specific layout to be used in this action only. You can call render here and specify layout and give it a name. Let's just do projects. And now this method is specifying which layout to use with this render. And this takes place, it overrides all the other layout settings. You can also pass false to this and it will render no layout as you can see. So that's a lot of different ways you can use to specify a layout. Most of the time you'll just need to set the application.rhtml file, but if you ever need more control, Rails gives it to you. I want to give a big thank you to our sponsor Peepcode. They make very high quality screencasts on Ruby on Rails, so if you've enjoyed these Rails casts, I think you will enjoy them too. Check them out at peepcode.com.